Right. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, this is accounting masterclass. So we are doing question two, taken from the November 2021 exam. This is the paper that we are doing. It's November 20, accounting November 2021. It is advisable that you take out the paper and we do it together. And your calculator must also be there so that you confirm the calculations that we shall be doing. Question two, share capital, financial indicators, and cash flow statement. The information relates to Brewer LTD for the financial year ended 28 February 2021. Prepare the ordinary share capital note on 28 February 2021, six marks. We want to do the ordinary share capital note. This is the information that has already been filled in in your answer sheet. We have 800,000 ordinary shares at the beginning. That's information A. And then we have 100,000 new shares issued. And then on 1 January, 30,000 shares were repurchased. 30,000 shares were repurchased. Shares repurchased. 30,000 shares repurchased at the average. We are not given the average here. We are told that they were repurchased at 1 run 20 more than the average. More than the average, we use it in the retained income note. So here, we want the average. For the mere fact that we do not have the share capital, let's look at the share capital at the beginning. Our ordinary share capital at the beginning is given in information C, which is 6,400,000. 6,400,000. Information C, that's ordinary share capital at the beginning, and the end is 7 million dollars and 95,000. So we cannot be able to calculate the average using the amounts at the beginning because there is this missing amount. So the only uh, method we can use is to calculate the average issue capital using the amounts at the end. So you have 800,000 plus 100,000, which is 900,000, minus 30,000 equals to 870,000. The total number of shares in issue at the end is 870,000. And let's calculate the ordinary share. It is allowed that you can calculate the average issue price using the amounts at the end, if there is an amount missing on top. The amount that is missing in this case is for the new shares that were issued. So you have 7,395,000, 7 divided by 870,000. 7,395,000 divided by 870,000. It's 850. So our average issue price is 850. Average issue price is 850. So 30,000 multiplied by 850. 30,000 multiplied by 850, that's 255,000. Which is in bracket. 30,000 multiplied by 850. That's 255,000. Then the only amount that is missing is for the new shares that were issued. So we can just work it work backwards here. You have your seven million three hundred and ninety-five thousand. Seven million three hundred and ninety-five thousand plus if you're working backwards, plus two hundred and fifty-five thousand minus six million four hundred thousand. Six million four hundred thousand equals to one million two hundred and fifty thousand. One million two hundred and fifty thousand. So the amount for the new shares that we issued is one million two hundred and fifty thousand. One million two hundred and fifty thousand. And this new shares issued is also going to be needed here. We are going to need it here under the financing activities. Proceeds from the issue of shares. Proceeds from the issue of shares. Because the answer sheet is provided, it is advisable that you just go and record whatever amount that you feel 
you need to record before you even forget. So the proceeds from the issue of shares is 1,250,000 here. And then you have the buyback of shares. Which is 30,000 multiplied by the total amount. If the average is 850 and the above average is 120, that will be 970. 850 plus 120, that's 970. So that will be 30,000 multiplied by 970. 291,000. 30,000 multiplied by 970. So in the cash flow statement, we write the full amount. Buyback of shares here, you write the average, but in the cash flow statement, you write the full amount, which is 291,000. Right, we have finished our ordinary share capital note, and then we want to continue to 2.2, .2, where we are required to calculate the following financial indicators on 28 February 2021.